Hey everyone, welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. Today I'm actually pretty excited to be doing this video. I haven't got to do a video like this for a long time. What we've got here is actually an Echo CS7310. I've been wanting to get one of these chainsaws for a long time, but they tend to be a little on the difficult side to find. And in fact, I had to special order this one and there was a you know pretty good little waiting period on getting it. The other one sitting here is the Steel MS500i. I've actually had it for a pretty good while. In fact, whenever they first got introduced into the US, my local dealer actually had one in stock and I just, I just bought it right then because I was like, man, there's, they're highly sought after. They're, you know, they're uh, the talk of the town, so to speak, because the electronic fuel injection and all that kind of stuff. The steel MS500i is a 79.2 cc electronic fuel injected motor. And the Echo CS7310P is actually a 73.5 cc. So there's a little difference in the motor size and stuff here. But originally I seen these two saws kind of around the same time frame, And I was like, man, should I go with the Echo or should I go with the steel? And you know, I'm, I really like the whole technology thing. So I did go for the steel first. And so far I couldn't be happier with that saw. I absolutely love the way that thing runs and starts and the power and all that kind of stuff. But I couldn't hardly help myself. I wanted to be able to compare these two just to see if I made the right decision. Also, maybe if there's somebody out there kind of with the same dilemma thinking about, you know, which, you know, between 70 and 80 cc saw to get, whether they would want to go with one of these two. And also some of the features versus the price because the steel chainsaw, I paid $1,359 for it. And the Echo is actually $899. But at that $900 price range, I actually got it with three bars and chains with it. So I got a 20 inch bar and chain, 24 and 28 inch. That way I'd kind of have a good variety of what I could use the saw for. So the steel for $1,359 came with a 25 and a half inch bar, I believe is what they're calling that. But you've only got the choice of one or the other. So you can get the, the saw with the 25 inch bar. You can get it with a 20 inch bar. You can even get it with a longer bar. But there's only around $20 difference between each step that you go. You know, you're still talking $1,339 or something at the least, like whether a 20 inch bar. And then with the Echo, you can get the powerhead unit by itself for $150 cheaper than what I paid. It really gives you a lot of good choices to make. And if you don't want to quite go to the $900 range and having three bars and all that kind of stuff, then you can just choose to go with a 20 inch bar or 24 inch. And I believe that the price goes all the way down to about 750 for this saw. And it really is a nice pro grade saw. I didn't really want to run this into like a big comparison video. I just wanted to kind of do a video on how they cut and you can kind of watch. I'll put a timer up here. We'll run three cuts for each saw and then kind of see if, you know, the power and all that kind of stuff kind of uh, one outweighs the other. And if there's that big of a difference, if the, the steel is faster, is it $1,300 versus $800 difference in the price? I've got both these saws equipped with the 20 inch bars and they both actually take the same chain. So both these saws, it's going to be a very fair comparison on this. Both of them have new chains on them and it is a three eighths pitch, 50 thousandths, 20 inch chain. So I make three cuts with each saw and we'll see where we're at on the timer. I've got an idea, you know, myself of which one actually will be faster. You know, it really seems like the steel really revs out a lot and the Echo has a lot of low end grunt to it. So we'll see which one actually performs better. But again, there's a little bit of unfair comparison because of the CC size difference on these, but this is the biggest saw that Echo makes. So that's the closest comparison, you know, really that I can do. And one more thing too, with the Echo, it's not broke in. I haven't even run a tank of fuel through this yet. It's actually got the first tank of fuel in it right now, but this will give us a good idea to start with kind of what we're looking at straight out of the box. See if there is a comparison between these two saws. I actually have gone through and warmed both of these saws up. As you can see, I've cut several rounds and stuff here. I wanted to get both of the, the motors warmed up and ready to go to where that they will run their fullest wide open throttle.
I don't know which one of those actually is faster uh, until I go back and look at the video. I will put a timer up there while I'm making those cuts. There's one thing about it that the steel definitely runs a lot faster. It seems like it's actually maybe even a couple thousand RPMs higher top out point than the revs. Again, the Echo's not broke in. It's, it's just the first tank of fuel that I'm running through it. And I know that on my CS590 that I had, it got better and better. The more I ran that saw, the better it got, the you know, the more power it built, the higher it would kind of rev out. And also I've heard some people kind of tune in these just a little bit. All this is factory. This has not been tampered with, but both of them are factory. There's been nothing adjusted. The steel is fuel injected. So unless you take it in and have it programmed or something, I think that's pretty much the only way that you can adjust it. The 7310, it just came out of the box. I put the bar on it and put fuel and oil in it. and that's the way it goes right there. Just the feeling of that, I'm really excited about the 7310 because it seems like that it's really gonna be a good running saw. It actually feels very refined. I'm really pleased with that because of the price difference. The steel actually felt that way compared to some of the other saws that I had ran, but then the 7310 feels just as refined, if not more refined than what the steel does. It just doesn't quite top out as high of an RPM as what the steel does, but it's definitely a grunter and you can hear the difference in the way that it sounds whenever it runs. There's just something kind of distinguishable about the difference in the, the sound of the engine itself. It's pretty cool. So I know what saw I'm going to be using for a little while. It's definitely going to be this 7310 and a couple other things too. I wanted to kind of go over is the weight of these saws in comparison to each other. Also that tends to be a big factor in buying a chainsaw a lot of people will buy this steel because of the power to weight it's an 80 cc saw but it weighs typically less than other 80 cc saws so let's weigh them real quick and just see what the difference is in them so the echo cs 7310p is 19 pounds 12 ounces and that is with fuel and oil in it and a 20 inch bar the steel MS500i, 19 pounds, 4.2 ounces. So it's just a little bit lighter than what the Echo is, but not by very much. And it also has the 20 inch bar and chain on it. So both of these chainsaws actually feel really good and they, they feel pretty balanced, but I believe the Echo definitely has the, uh, the steel beat out a little bit in that balance department. In fact, when you lift it up straight up from the handle, you can see how the saw pitches forward. And if you pick the echo up, it's actually perfect. It doesn't try to pitch forward or backwards either, either direction. So there you have it. A comparison I, you know what I really don't really want to call this a comparison because it's really not a comparison would be an 80 cc saw versus an 80 cc saw but this seems like it was at the time that these were being released were two of the most anticipated saws coming out the 7310 is Echo's biggest chainsaw and the steel MS 500i being the fuel injected you know a 79.2 cc saw but you know what I have to say that I'm surprised I thought that it'd just be a, a shutout I thought the steel would just blow the echo away because of the cc difference the throttle response is definitely quicker and you could get a little more of that power feeling when you stab the throttle with it you really feel that torque there that power there but the echo it seems like it has enough grunt you know that it actually will hold its own against the steel. Now again, I don't know what the times are just yet. They'll be posted in the video while I'm cutting and everything, but just from the feel and stuff here, I'm, I'm very pleased with that echo and the refinement and uh, just the overall feel. And like I say, this isn't really a comparison video, but if you'd like to see an actual comparison where I go through and point out all the features and the differences and all that kind of stuff, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment below and let me know if you'd like to see that. You know, if I get enough response out of it, then, you know, I'll do an actual comparison and point out all the features of each one side by side. And maybe we'll do another race or something with them once the echo gets broke in good get a few tanks of fuel through it like i say right now it's the very first tank of fuel that's in it so i'm pleasantly surprised with how well this thing runs so if you enjoyed today's video make sure to hit that thumbs up button 
subscribe to the channel and follow along with us for all the projects we have going on around the property. And thanks for watching.